hey boys and girls, it's me again, Mrs. Ballard, your student advocate. And in case you didn't catch it earlier, I did read the book Miss Rumpius, written and illustrated by Barbara Cooney. So go ahead and go back and check it out on our Sierra Avenue Facebook page. But right now, this art project, it, it, um, it is inspired by the book Miss Rumpius. So what you're going to need is paint, I just got this really cheap apple barrel paint from Walmart and I have the colors green, white, pink, and purple. Okay, you can use whatever paint you have with your parents' permission. I have a plastic tablecloth cover. You can also lay down newspaper or paper towels so that you don't get paint on your table. You will need a blank piece of white computer paper or if you have lined paper, you can use that too. It'll still be fun and turn out just as nice. I have dolloped every one of those four colors onto a paper plate that I will be accessing and I also have a paintbrush that's just a thin paintbrush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it in a green paint and I am going to create just three green lines that are stems, okay? When um, everything I've learned about painting is you want odd numbers and so I just have three thick stems right here. It's uh, They're not perfect but they will be great, okay? Then I'm going to stick my, my pointer finger into my favorite color, which is purple, and I am going to just kind of create a pyramid shape or a triangle so it's, it's smaller on the top and it gets wider on the bottom, okay? So you're just going to blot your fingers there, okay? So there is my middle one. I'm going to do the same with the pink on the side, okay, or rose colored as, as Miss uh, Rumpheus referred to them, okay. And then over on the other side, I'm going to do a combination of the pink and the purple because if you look in the wild, there's some colors that are um, blended together, some yellows, um, some orangey color, but my favorite are like the rose colored or the purple, okay? Once you do that, you can highlight or accent would be a, a proper term with a little bit of white on the tips. And when you look at um, lupins in the wild, the purple or the bluish color especially have white tips on them. And so um, I did a couple of examples earlier, so you can go as wild and crazy as you want, or you can go as minimalistic as you want to. This is your art, but this is our lupin art that was inspired by the book Miss Rumpheus. So if you do do this art project, I would love for you to post your lupins onto our Sierra Avenue Facebook page, okay? So have fun, get your parents' permission first and foremost, and um, post those pictures on Facebook. All right, guys, good to see you. Thanks for joining me for this art 